Hey everyone, in this video we're going to solve a non-constant growth stock question. Meaning that we're going to calculate the price of a stock where the growth rate is not constant. So in this case it says the company just paid a $2 dividend on its common shares. Dividends are expected to grow by 4% for the next two years. And then we'll start to grow by 6% indefinitely starting in year three. We've also given you the required rate of return of 12%. So basically if you review this on a timeline, if the stock just paid a dividend of $2, so we need to find the first dividend next year. That would be $2 multiplied by 1.04, right? Because it's going to get 4% higher. You just want to add 4%. If you like formulas, the formula I used, D1 equals D0 times 1 plus G. So that would be $2.08. In the second year, it'll also grow by 4%. So if I want to find D2, I could just square my, uh, my 1.04, right? So 2 times 1.04 squared. That'll tell me what my dividend is in the um, second year. Now, a little bit on this. Students often have a hard time uh, identifying what the future dividend is. And really, all you need to do is apply the growth rate as many times as the growth rate um, is happening. So in this case, you can see that I took $2, which was my D0, and multiplied it by 1 plus the growth rate squared, because I'm trying to get from D0 to D2. And I know that it's going to grow by 4% in each of those years. So the math on that would be 2.1632. Now, alternatively, you could have just multiplied your D1, your 2.08, by 1 plus G, or 1.04. That'll be the same thing. Now the year after, it says the stock is going to start growing at 6%. So to find D3, I'll take my D2, multiply that by 1 plus 0 0.06. Again, I'm using the same formula. I'm just adding my growth rate. So times 1.06, and that is 2.29. 299, so I'll put 293. And then from that point, it goes perpetual. So I'm not going to calculate all the payments. I don't need them all. Because I know that if I were to split my timeline here, I've got a growing perpetuity here. So for the growing perpetuity, I'm just going to move this here. We know that the formula is P0 equals D1 over K minus G, right? The price of a stock with uh, growing dividends. Now, since we're not using D1, right? Our growing perpetuity starts at D3. This formula actually becomes P2 equals D3 over K minus G. So that would be 2.293 over K, which is the required rate of return. Some of you might know it as R. We use K minus the growth rate of 6%. So 2.293 divided by that. The price of the stock in year two is $38.22. So now it's time to use the dividend discount model to put it all together. If I want to find the price of the stock today, I know that it's the present value of all future dividends. So the dividend in year one is $2.08. If I discount that back one year, so 1.12, then I'll add the next one, so 2.1632 over 1.12 squared. And I'm going to discount this future value to the present date, so 38.22 over 1.12 squared. And that'll give you the price of the stock today. So I get uh, $36 and roughly 52 cents. So with these timelines, you really want to chop them up, draw them out, 
and identify what you have in front of you before you try and solve it, right? You wanna make, sure, make sure you know if you're dealing with a growing perpetuity, a growing annuity, uh, ordinary annuity. There's so many different ways that they can go about uh, asking these types of questions. So draw it out, identify what you have and try and simplify it. And you should be able to get through any question using this method. So I hope that helps and I will see you at the next video.